This lesson will concern making tree graphics uh, from trees and mesquite. So graphics for printing or use in papers or in um, um, PowerPoint presentations, for instance. And so here we've got a tree, we've got another tree window here, and I want to turn both of those into tree graphics. Um, and uh, so first I'm just going to pretty them up a little bit the way I want. In this one I'm going to make the tax on uh, names uh, tilt 45 degrees. I'm going to make the line widths a little bit thinner, in fact quite thin, uh, and so that one's ready to go. And this one I'm just going to make it so that the branches are proportional to the lengths, and maybe I'll make the lines a little bit thinner there too. Okay, so these are both ready to go, uh, and I'm going to start with this one. And so the first thing to do is to save the tree as a PDF. And I'm going to save it in here, and this is the diagonal tree one. And we'll save it like that, and I'm just going to save them both as we go, but I'm going to do the next one in a different way, and then we'll later see how we edit those PDF files, but I'm going to do this one in a different way. The first one I showed you, I had done save tree as PDF, but this time I'm going to go via the print tree dialog box, because often this comes up with better results if your operating system will let you do this. And so, for instance, here I'm working on a on a Macintosh, and it um, gives me this, and I'm going to use this little button here, Save as PDF, uh, that'll allow me then uh, to save it as a PDF, and this is the square one. Um, and on your operating system, uh, whether it's Windows or Linux or whatever, um, there's a good chance that you've got a way to print but to a PDF uh, instead of straight to a printer. So now that I've made both of those, um, I'm going to go here and see if I can find that little thing. Uh, where had we put that? Trees for graphics here. And here they are, the two PDFs, and I'm going to open them uh, uh, in uh, Adobe Illustrator. And so now here's the one, and once it comes up, and there it is. And typically I'm using the white arrow a fair bit so that I'm not uh, selecting everything at once. I'm just selecting pieces of things, so I'll get rid of that. Get rid of that. Is there anything else I've got? It looks like we're fairly clean there uh, on this one. And uh, we can um, change things if we want. We can go in and we can change the colors of things, the font sizes, and so forth. So I'm going to just ch change these all to be italicized, for instance. And so in our text, Type window character. I'm going to change those to be, well, let's just type in Helvetica. And so that we've got Helvetica and we'll make it oblique, for instance. So then when you, you can change the artboard and so forth when you save it. You've got a little PDF file uh, and there you go. Good to go on that one. And then we can do the same with the diagonal one. And get back to here. And of course, you can add extra bits of graphics. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Add extra bits of graphics and so forth to this. Uh, and I'm just going to save this one the way it is after I got rid of a few things there. And so now, for instance, we can go over to PowerPoint here and take this and draw our, drop our diagonal one there. And there we go. We have our PowerPoint presentation ready to go.